Please start by telling us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where do you call home? What do you do for a living? Jim Joy. I uh, call Holly, Minnesota home. Born and raised in Detroit, Detroit Lakes. Uh, small business owner. Uh, work for another company selling car wash equipment and chemicals. Been a mayor for six years. Uh, been on the council for two years. So, you know, just uh, love the small values and rural values and, you know, excited to be down here. What's the experience uh, like being the mayor of Holly? And uh, why did you decide to make a, the jump to the, the house? Well, you know, being the mayor of Holly has been great. I, I just love the small town feel and, you know, trying to do right and not tax people out of their houses and keep things right. And that was important in Holly. You know, we get in our police department fully funded, get in everything we needed there. And uh, they called for me to come to the house here two years ago. And I wanted to finish one more term as mayor. And then when the call came out again, it's the thing that you look at and you say, well, you know, sometimes when a call comes twice, you should answer it. It's probably coming from someone else that's telling you you should do it. So. And I, I saw on your campaign page, mayor, reserve police officer, business owner. Uh, how do you think that background and the experiences all, all together are going to help you here as a lawmaker? You know, I, th I think being a mayor helped me learn, understand some of the, you know, the rules and regulations and what we got going on in to small towns and where small towns need help, where they need lifting from the legislation, like, you know, whether it's funding or what they need for roads and stuff like that, you know. That's important to me. Uh, being a police reserve, the reason why I got involved with the police reserve is because I wanted to understand law enforcement more. I had been a fireman on the volunteer fire department, so I joined the police reserve to understand where the law enforcement said and ride along with them and be with them. And that, that'll help me, you know, and I will fully fund and work with law enforcement, whatever they need, and first responders. Um, small business owner, you know, it's a gas station. So, of course, we're familiar with gas tax. Been in that for 24 years. I worked for another company for oh, 21 years. And uh, watching the over-regulations and make sure these small businesses stick around, they're important to rural Minnesota, and we need to keep them. And that's one of the, I want to be a voice down in the Capitol. You know, it, it, my campaign slogan was uh, big voice, small town values, and big capital, you know, so pushing it down here. When you talk to people in, in your district, uh, what were some of the pressing issues that uh, people were, were worried about or, or some of the concerns that they had at, at the state level? What we hear down in our area a lot up, up in northern Minnesota and, and that way is inflation, you know, tax, taxing people out of their homes, too much taxation. Get in the tax off of retired Social Security. That was important. I mean, a lot of my district, was that was one of the things they talked about. But inflation, just getting things under control so people can stay. In my area, a lot of people want to be left alone and not have government involved in their business. So it's just, that was what I was hearing out in the campaign trial.